How to perform binary subtraction the easiest way. This tutorial will teach us how to subtract binary numbers in a very easy way. So we will not be subtracting just like what we do in decimal number system, wherein we need to borrow and borrow and subtract. So this one, I hope, will be easiest for you. Okay, let's start. So before we have an example, let's look at first what are the elements in a subtraction operation. For example, we have A minus B equals C. So let's look at the names or the labels of each. The first data here, the first value, we call it the minuend. This is the value where we will get the value that we will subtract. So this is supposedly a bigger value. And then, so this is our subtrahend. This is the value that, we will, that will be taken away from the minuend. Okay, and the result, the, the answer, we call it the difference of the subtraction operation. What is the procedure? in getting the difference. If we want to perform A minus B, so this is now the procedure. First, get the two's complement of the subtrahend. Our subtrahend here is B. So get the two's complement. After getting the two's complement, we will add that result in step one, which is the two's complement of subtrahend B. We add it to our minuend. And after that, there we have the difference. Let's have an example. Let's say we want to perform 0101 zero, one, zero, one, minus 1111. One, one. So our minuend here is 0101 one, zero, one, and our subtrahend is 1111. One, one, one. Let's perform the procedure or the steps. Step one will be to get the two's complement of B or the subtrahend. How do we get the two's complement? We learned from before that the two's complement is one's complement plus one. So first we need to get the one's complement of the subtrahend B. So in this example, the one's complement of one 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 is zero 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 zero. So one's complement it will just give the inverse of the value. The inverse of one is zero. The inverse of zero is one. So this is the one's complement. After we get the one's complement, we will add one to it. So our one's complement is zero, 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 zero. If we add one, it will become zero, 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 one. This is now the two's complement of the subtrahend B, which is one, 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 one. So we know already the two's complement of 1111. It is 0001. This value now will be, in step two, we will add that value to our minuend. So the result of step one will be added to the minuend. In this example, our minuend is 0101. So the result of step one is 0001. So we add it to our minuend 0101. The result is, if you perform binary addition, the result will be 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is now the difference. So going back to the original example, 0, 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 1. So we will get the difference 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the minuend, the subtrahend, and this is our difference. Now, another question will be, how do we determine the final borrow? If you remember in our subtraction operation in the decimal number system, we are using the method of borrowing. Okay, so in that borrowing method, there is what we call the final borrow, the last value that is being borrowed. Here, how do we determine since we do not follow the normal subtraction method? So the borrow here will be determined 
based on the values of the minuend and the subtrahend. So we will compare our minuend and subtrahend. If the minuend is bigger than the subtrahend, or if they are equal, then the final borrow will be zero. It is like if the value A is bigger or equal to B, then there is no need for a final borrow. Okay, and then if, so or else, if A is less than B, then the final borrow will have the value one. In this example, we will, uh, it will mean that the difference is a negative number. So it only happens if the minuend is less than the subtrahend. So how, that's how we determine the final borrow. So 0101 minus 1111 will give a difference of 0110 and a final borrow of 1. So that's it. I hope you find it very easy.